Hi, I'm Mrs. Seiler. I'm the art teacher at Glen Ellen Elementary School, and I'm here with Miss Luxton's second grade class, and we're going to be talking about snowflakes. All right, last week, you guys, remember we um, used found objects to print snowflakes on our paper, and we created symmetrical snowflakes. What did we say symmetry or symmetrical means? Yes, sir. Exactly, it's the same, isn't it? So when we slice this snowflake in half, it's the same on each side, just like when we did our butterflies. Well, this week we're going to use objects again, but this time we're going to be making a movie with an iPad um, to build our snowflakes. Do you remember what Wilson Bentley was known for? Yes, ma'am. I love the way you said that. Yeah, he took close-up pictures of snowflakes. He used that microscope. He figured out, he was nicknamed the Snowflake Man, and he figured out a way to photograph snowflakes so we could study them. So he was an artist as well as a scientist. How is a snowflake created? You remember? Symmetrical things, yeah. Do you remember how it's created? And it gets a cool shape. Yeah, that cool symmetrical shape. Very nice, yes. So a snowflake begins to form when those cold droplets freeze onto a particle in the sky. Um, a snowflake is a symmetrical ice crystal. And we said what symmetrical means is that it's the same on both sides. So this is the icon for the stop motion um, studio that we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be creating a little movie of a snowflake. We're going to collaborate with our classmates to create a snowflake. Who can tell me what collaborate means? Yes, Harry. Um, to work together. I love it, to work together, to be a team, right? So you're going to be working with your elbow partner um, to create a snowflake. You're going to create the symmetrical snowflake using those objects that are on your table and the stop motion studio. These are some students from yesterday that we're creating the snowflake. You can see how we're actually gonna work on the floor today. You'll have to decide with your partner who's gonna be the one that takes the pictures and then who's going to place the objects on the paper and we're gonna work on the floor and you have to keep that iPad really, really still. All right, let's see. Let me switch over and show you a little video that I made I'm going to open up my iPad, and you guys know how to do this. Find the stop motion icon, and it's hard to see. And when you guys start today, you're going to hit this plus to start a new video, but I'm going to click on the movie that I made. Oopsie. 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 All right, let's watch. I'm going to hit play right here. One object at a time. See how it's growing, growing. The more objects you add, the more pictures you take, the longer your movie will be. All right, so you ready to try to start making one? I'm going to demonstrate how to use the iPad in Brian's seat. I'm going to work with Brian. So we'll table five and six, come on over where you can see, and table seven, come on over where you can see. Oh, yep, I'm going to be working right on this floor. Like I said, we're going to be working on the floor today. One person is going to be in charge of the iPad, and you have to keep the iPad really still. And I put a little shape here that you can place the iPad on, so it, it just stays right on the table. So I have to slide this over until I can see the whole square. And once I do that, we are not going to move that square, and we're not going to move the iPad. Now, Brian, we're going to start with that first little particle that falls from the sky. Would you place something right in the middle of that black paper? Pick, a, pick an object. Yeah, that's a good one to start with. Place it right in the middle. All right, and then get your hand out of the way, and I'm going to press the red button. Click. Now, pick another object. 
<laughs> Help him, Daniel. You pick something. There you go. Place that on the paper. And I will take, you got to be real careful not to move anything on the paper. Another picture. You're going to keep doing this. The movie that I made had 80 pictures. And like I said, the more pictures you take, the longer your movie will be. You guys want to try to get started? All right, go back to your table, find your partner, decide who's going to be the photographer, who's going to place objects. All right, Brian's ready. Y'all place the first centerpiece. Let's see what happened. <laughs> and then if you want to get down on the, who's the photographer? Okay, so here you go. You get the good stuff. And you have to communicate. So go ahead and place your first. You can sit on the ground. You're going to be down there for a while. Tyler, wait a minute. Oh, got to turn it this way. There it is. All right, take your first picture. All right, and keep going. Add another object. <coughs> Remember, Wilson Bentley studied snowflakes, so we know that no two snowflakes are alike. Oh, I like that. picture do you want to delete? That one, it fell off the All right, press on that. And see the trash can? Hit that. Now click the red button and take one picture. going to happen to your snowflakes? No. They're going to melt. So now you are going to remove one object, take a picture. Remove an object, take a picture. It was a duck and melt. Oh, let me see, Harry. Let me see your movie. Hit the arrow right there. Watch what you made. Watch. That's awesome. Oh, the sun's coming out. Melting. That's awesome. How many frames did you get? 65. 65. That's a nice long one. Uh, second graders, please get back to your seats. We want to share some of these. Pick your papers off the floor. Sienna and Grace is the movie. They ended up with 46 frames. Let's watch their snowflakes. 46 frames. Do you see symmetry in there? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. 
girls. Good job. I do it. What a lot. What about us too? Very nice. All right, who else is going to share? Me. <laughs> oh, me. I'll take yours here. Here's one back to the that was 46. This one has 65 frames, so it should be a little bit longer. This has 67. All right, we'll see. Does anyone have more than 67 frames? All right, we'll play yours next then. Let's see. Oops, we'll play. And it's melting. Oh, it's gone. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice job. All right, let's see. He started off with that one particle and began growing. And melting. Oh, I like the way the cotton balls at the end kind of disperse. Yeah, that's awesome. So you guys, today um, we used art. We use science, and we use technology, and we use math to make our snowflakes, right? Because we didn't just make snowflakes for just making snowflakes. We learned about they're symmetrical. They're the same. We learned how snowflakes are created. And we used our technology with our iPads. And last week, we even used our paint to create our snowflakes. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you for joining us today at Glen Allen Elementary with Ms. Luxon's second grade class. We had fun making our symmetrical snowflakes and... Snowflakes!